Hello, this is a follow-up to my uh, camera antenna mod video. Um, first I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the antenna configurations that I ended up wanting to go with and then finishing off with an alternate way to do the antenna mod that doesn't involve taking apart so much of the camera as you normally have to do. Um, <clears throat> so first I'm going to start with antennas. Uh, I uh, ended up going with this configuration after trying a couple of more positions and I'm so far the happiest with the performance of two antennas mounted on either side in either direction sort of creating a little bit of a V pattern so you want to point to this way, one is pointed that way the reasoning for that is if I'm flying uh, forward towards me that this antenna will be pointing more straight down giving better radiation pattern towards me and better range and if and of course this also keeps me covered in this direction if I'm pulling back or of course if I'm going in this direction it'll probably still be going off of this antenna and of course sideways doesn't really matter which way I'm banking so much but um and also because I don't have both of them pointing down I don't have that dead spot below me because one think of a donut swirling here and this is a donut the weakest transmission is right off of the tip here and the tip here because the tips are pointing off in two different directions I can get good coverage with it directly above me um, although the same doesn't apply, apply as much so for um, the actual control feed for your 5.8 gigahertz control but at least for your Wi-Fi you'll have connection <clears throat> and uh, I mounted these by taking off the rubber putting uh, my RPS and a pigtail up through the rubber up into it but I first you first you're gonna need an extra washer that's slightly bigger than what comes with this for the top and for the bottom otherwise when you try to tighten this down it's gonna push through the hole so you're gonna to want to put the rubber in here with the bigger washer on the bottom so it doesn't push up as you try to tighten it as well as a larger washer on the top try to tighten it down it should be a very very thin washer otherwise you can have too much thickness for this whole thing and um, and that's it <clears throat> uh, what I have here is a, uh, a right angle um, RPSMA female to male connection this is what I got off of um, uh, eBay for it Sure, the right one. One second. <clears throat> so, I got a bunch of these. It's right angle. This connector is female. It goes into the end of your pigtail. And this end is male which plugs into your RPSMA antenna. So, you have your uh, <clears throat> basically under this rubber grommet. This is coming up and then it's plugged on top. Then you stick your antenna. Another way you could also consider mounting something is putting a hole into the landing gear here. So you could mount your uh, screws in there. So, I also have a from circular wireless which I have a link to in the description the uh, SPW24 this is an RHCP skew planer antenna RHCP is um, its right hand uh, right circular polarization uh, so for best absolute results you'll want to get an RHCP uh, like helical antenna or the, for really long range use maybe in conjunction with an omnidirectional so you could use uh, if you have two antennas on your Wi-Fi range extender 
you can use a combination of both for the best of both worlds. Uh, if you haven't watched my Wi-Fi repeater mod for the Phantom 2 Vision, you can check out the link in my description for that. But anyway, I'm going to... Um, <clears throat> uh, the only problem with this particular antenna here... Um, by the way, the antennas that are built in the Vision camera are LHCP. If you don't intend to ever upgrade your Vision antenna, uh, then you'll want to get an LHCP style uh, helical antenna for the best results. So, uh, anyway, this particular antenna being RHCP. Uh, oh yeah, it came. This antenna came with the wrong kind of connector. It gave me a male plug instead of the female. So I needed to order an extra right angle connector that had two female ends instead of a female male end. So I bought one that has two female ends and that solves that problem. Now I can simply take off one of those omnidirectional antennas and put my skew planer. Uh, that should help with any orientation reception. So I should have a more reliable signal as I rotate around in any direction. Although um, this configuration does work pretty well for spinning it around. <clears throat> but it will work even better with this. And um, now on to the camera mod, the alternative. If you watched the original video um, pretty much involved taking the screws out of here with the 1.5 millimeter uh, X and then taking the whole thing apart practically so if you don't want to um, do that uh, the parts cost a little bit more but you'll only have to take off the bottom piece and uh, then so you can gain access to the UFL connector that's plugged right onto the antennas which are visible once you take the bottom port out. You'll need uh, two adapters. Um, you can get this at Radio Shack, this particular one. Um, it's basically a double female connector. It's an SMA double female coupler. It's, uh, at Radio Shack it's eight dollars. With tax it's like eight dollars. You can change. On this particular eBay listing it's three dollars plus three and a quarter for shipping. So you'll need one of those, and in addition to one of these. Uh, this is a UFL male connector to the RPSMA. So you're going to plug, screw that male connector, I mean that female connector into this side. So that way your antenna will plug into the opposite end to the opposite end so that's how your antenna will connect um, and you're gonna get a male to female extension cable a male to female UFL extension cable that will uh, so the male portion of the UFL cable is gonna plug in here and the female portion <coughs> no I meant the female portion of the UFL cable this is the UFL. So, again, the um, I'll have a link in the description to um, eBay auctions that have this. But it's going to be, um, there's a 6-inch cable, female end on one side, which is like this, and the other end has a male side. So that male side is going to plug into the, ante the wire that's currently plugged into the, the built-in antenna. And the uh, female end is going to of the extension cable is going to plug into here. This is going to screw into that coupler and then that coupler will go your antenna. And there you go. You'll only, with, with that done, you, all you have to do is uh, take the bottom portion out. Simple enough. You take those four screws out, uh, unhitch uh, the, the wire and plug right in to your extension cable and uh, that'll be it. You'll save a lot of time and trouble. You should have the same results with the exception of being able to mount it in quite the same ways like I have over here. But um, you'll just improvise as far as how you mount the cable. But that's so you can at least see what kind of results you can get without having to uh, 
strip your camera apart because it's really not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> Taking apart the, the camera to the extent that I had to do to do this mod. And you only really need to do one antenna. You don't need to do both to get an extended range. But since I'm, I did both for best results in terms of circulating it around. But if you're going to go with a skew planer antenna, then I would just maybe just go with one. I would leave one of the internal antennas built built in, still connected, and just put the single skew planer. Should be good enough. Uh, so anyway, that's about it. Um, I'll have links for parts in the description. And uh, best of luck. Keep in mind your range results are going to vary depending on where you fly. Um, the uh, Wi-Fi range can call... Um, Wi-Fi signals that are right next to you when you're flying. A lot of strong Wi-Fi can interfere a lot with your flying. Uh, so, um, like I said, your results, results will vary, but overall, um, it's given me no less than uh, 20 to 30 percent increase, maybe as much as 50 percent increase in range with these antennas. Although, not quite as reliable as the built-in antennas, which is for circulating around, but that's where the skew planer will come in handy. That should resolve that. But it's pretty good overall with that configuration. So, looking good. Let me turn the light off on here. So again, if you did this mod, you could probably get away with doing just the one antenna. Or of course, for more fun, you could add two of these, one on either side. <laughs> 